Welcome to the dark side of TikTok, or as I like to call it, feeder talk. You imagine where the fat's gonna go, where the curves are gonna go. I know. What are you punching up against? Nothing. Am I a feeder? You sure are. Now I am aware a lot of you might not know what a feeder is, so let me sum it up for you. It's uh, a person in a relationship who loves to feed their partner like a glorious pig and they get aroused from it. Feederism is a fat fetish subculture in which individuals eroticize weight gain and feed in. Feeders are individuals who claim to become sexually aroused by feeding their partners and encouraging them to gain weight. And these people sit there and they're rubbing their stomach and they're loving it, they're like, mmm, and they're just fucking gulging and just in, it, devouring themselves and cheeseburgers and ice cream and anything their partner gives them, really. So we are really in the end times. This came across my For You page the other day, and this is what gave me the idea to talk about it. I thought I want to show you guys of what is actually going on in the world that you might not see because it doesn't come on your For You page. Don't ask questions. I don't know why it's on mine. All right, guys, the gig is up. I'm the feeder, and Nova is the feedy. Oh, yeah, you eat that bacon. Oh, you're gonna put on so much weight, that is sexy. It's not, is it? It's not really. It's terrible, and you're going to hell. Oh, what the f man? I, what? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not meaning a kink shame, but it makes me feel sick just looking at him. <laughs> Full of gas, smirky face. Mmm, mmm, that is, it's the best way to live, babes. Is it though? Is this really your true potential? Sitting on TikTok, rubbing your belly, saying you're full of gas and burping. That's the full potential? That's the best way to live? Holy fuck! And before you go in the comments say, oh, you know, why, why are you fat shaming? Why are you making fun of fat people? First of all, I used to be fat. That's a lie. I, I didn't. I can't. I do have these guns though, so quite the opposite. Alright, enough of that cringe, but on a real note, you know, I'm not making fun of fat people. I am literally shaming the people who fetishize bigger people, fetishize, and make them eat more food than they need to because they like it. <sighs> Why am I alive in 2023? I wish I died t 10 years ago. God, I love the sound of you burping, all your gassy stuff coming out of your stomach. Wow, I'm gonna jack off to this later. Why do I like this? But you know, this is just one set of TikTok where people make videos to appeal to feeders and they have an OnlyFans and they get paid for it just for sitting there eating a hot dog, rubbing their stomach and burping all day. Fuck, maybe I should become fat. But there's this guy on TikTok called George Keywood and he is just massive. And people have the assumption that George's wife is indeed a feeder and she loves feeding him food. And a lot of people call her a gold digger as well, we can see in the article here. Sienna Kira of Australia moved halfway across the world to be with her fiance after the pair started chatting on Instagram and fell in love. Critics say her plus size partner George Keywood from the UK is punching and brand Sienna a gold digger for being with the comedy star. She told The Sun even her own family have doubted the relationships at times. Sienna says the couple have amazing sex and George is very passionate. Yeah? Is that right? But someone actually asked him on TikTok, is your wife a feeder? And this is what he said. Am I a feeder? You sure are, but well, baby, that's a bit too much. Cheese you for just me. asked for But there's all of fruit that. on there, so that means it's okay. He begs me for food all the time, all day long. He just keeps going, keeps saying, Can I have a drink, baby? Can I have a sandwich? Yeah, bro, do you like it now, yeah? Look, that's enough, bro. Not in front of our son, George, please. That's enough. Never in my life have I seen a man get so hyped over food. I mean, my man started acting like a gorilla when his wife handed him a plate of cheese. So, so he obviously likes it, because apparently he's always asking her for food and drinks. I don't want to step on any toes here, but you have to ask yourself, you know, is this the best example you can set for your son? I know. What are you punching up against? Nothing. Look at my sensual like worries. My, yeah, my man is sitting there wish. getting his tits slapped. You wish you could have what I want, Trump. Never. I'm just too successful. Oh, <laughs> days. This dude is like Lex Luthor, but plus size. Yeah. Got fucking fat man boobs and everyone loves them. Never. never. Could never be me. I wonder when they're in the bedroom, do you think that instead of him spanking her, she just slaps his tits instead? 
However, the cases do get more severe because some people just love it when they their partner can't even get out of bed. A so morbidly obese that he can't even get out of bed. And people get turned on by that. Guys, comment down below what you think about this because I think at some point it's going to become life-threatening. And the partner's greed of their sexual arousal of watching their partner stuff their face will become too much for them. And they'll continue to feed their partner even if it's life-threatening. I think it's very dangerous. This is why I'm not happy with it. I don't like the fact I'm seeing these TikToks. Have you guys seen 1,000 Pound Sisters, right? Tammy Slayton, she is morbidly obese. In fact, her whole family was at one point. Basically, it's this show on TLC and it's about their weight loss journey and just documenting their lives because it's very interesting, apparently. And it was mostly based around these sisters called Amy and Tammy. Now, Amy has done her weight loss journey. She's doing well, she's doing great. But Tammy, however, had a bit more of a struggle. So. Thankfully, she's recovered now. She's lost a lot of weight. She's had a weight loss surgery. Uh, she's left the rehab facility. But Tammy Slayton was dating, at the time when she was the biggest she could be, was dating a lot of feeders. And there's been several times where Tammy Slayton has almost died because of her weight gain. But despite that, she was on a journey to lose weight, to get more healthy, and to, you know, just to better herself. However, she was in relationship with feeders and they couldn't give two fucks about her goal. All they wanted her to do was just keep feeding her spoonfuls of shit every day. Just want to cut in quickly and say, you know, the first half of this video is more kind of a light-hearted take on feederism, but the problem is, is when certain feeders take it too far, such as the case with Tammy Slayton. Look, if your kink is feederism, fair enough. When you start to take it too far, when it's threatening someone else's life, yo, you need to check yourself. I mean, there are just some feeders who are so selfish, even if it becomes life-threatening, that's a turn-on for them. So really, they're the real pigs. Anyway, you were one of the guys that Tommy Slayton was dating. And I can honestly say this is happiness. Now she's saying she's happy, but what kind of guy was she with? Let me show you a TikTok he made. This guy has a known persona on the internet as having a fetish for big girls. A fetish, fetishizing obese girls. Yo, my guy had a chart and he was pointing above 450 pounds. And guess what? He knew she was on a weight loss journey and apparently he supported it. But guess what? His next TikTok was anything under 300 pounds is disrespectful. My dude, seriously. If I married you at 450 pounds and you get down to 299, just know I am out. See ya. Good job, buddy. Good job. That's really nice of you. And don't get me wrong, Tammy's responsible as well. She should have taken control of her life and realized this dude isn't good for me. But moving on from that anyway, check this other feeder out. And it's it's absolutely insane. You imagine where the fat's gonna go, where the curves are gonna go. Get out of here, are you serious? This guy just said, no, I love to guess where the, the fat's gonna go, where the cur <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Fuck me, am I, am I still here? Am I still on Earth? This can't be it, surely. Yeah, I just have a little another spoonful of shit. Wonder where it's gonna go, though. Hopefully it'll be on the thighs. And I mean, there was one where she was handcuffed to the refrigerator. Are you joking? <laughs> handcuffed to the refrigerator. No. Now her fat moves under. Her clothes, love her fatness. Uh, yeah, I think when he said that, that little moment right there, that was the moment of doubt. Yeah, I love her fatness. Donna's body is a fat lover's playground. Oh my days, what is going on? A fat lover's playground? Yo, she's a person. <laughs> That dude smiling as well when he took the picture. Oh my god, I bet he was fucking rock hard underneath there. Oh yeah, I love that. See if you can stuff those Twinkies in your nose as well and and and, and oink like a pig. Oh god, oh god, I gotta. Oh. Come and feed me like your fat little pig. Oh. <laughs> The point is, is this feeder relationship is getting out of hand. And don't be like, oh, you're kink shaming, you're kink shaming. Is it ever right to fetishize a certain type of person? But with feeding, you are causing harm to the person by fulfilling your fetish. You keep feeding and feeding and giving all this crap to them. They become extremely unhealthy and they'll be in a grave. That's the truth. What are you going to do then? You're going to fucking feed the grave or what? But if you do have something to say, and you're really angry with the points I made in this video, then I have one final statement for you. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.